We cut the cord a few years back. Uh, we've had a lot of devices, Apple TV, different players. Um, in the last year, though, the Chromecast has come out, and it's a great little $35 device. So if you decide to cut the cord, get rid of cable TV, real easy device to use. Um, I have it connected here, and it's going to be a quick demo of it. Here's uh, YouTube. So you can see YouTube on your phone like you normally do. And you have the little Chromecast icon because it detects a Chromecast on my network. We have two of them. So you choose the one here for the living room. And you see the TV switches. And then play videos like normal. But you'll see they come up instead of playing on the phone. You go to play or add them to the queue. I'm just going to hit play. And right away they're playing on the television. You can from here switch your phone, go back home, and turn your phone off if you want it. It's not going to hurt anything. You watch the video is streaming directly to the Chromecast, so it's not running anything on your phone. It doesn't affect battery life of the phone at all. Uh, it keeps things very simple. The app lets you switch between the queues like this. So you go right back to YouTube. You can see the queue, everything that you have in here. Go back to searching while it's playing. It doesn't affect the TV at all. I'm just going to search for something here. And add this one to the queue. And if I don't like what's playing, I can go back over here to the queue. And I can force it right now to switch. If not, when it's done playing the one video, it'll jump right into the next one. Really easy. Uh, this also works with multiple phones, computers, uh, all at the same time. So if your friends come over, you connect them to your Wi-Fi network, they can right away jump on the Chromecast and add to the queue. And if you don't like something they put in the queue, you can just go and hit Remove. And it shows the queue removed and cleaned up like that. And once again, turn the phone off. Even if someone uh, switches controllers uh, back and forth between tablet, they all work at the same time. Anyone can pause the video that's connected. Anyone can play a different video. Uh, really easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here. And I'm going to switch to another app. Let's swipe that away. You'll see it goes back to ready to watch because we canceled that video. And we'll try Netflix here. See the Chromecast icon. We choose this device or whichever Chromecast you want. You can have as many as you want in the house. Just give each one a different name. And Netflix is now connected. Then you hit play. It tells you it's switching controllers. It went from YouTube to Netflix. Buffers it up. And once again, you can leave the app. You can just go back and it's listed up here. So you can pause it, jump back 30 seconds, or stop it. And let your phone go to sleep just like normal. This, Like I said, this does not kill the battery on the phone. It doesn't affect the phone at all. Makes it really easy to use. Every phone becomes a remote. Every tablet becomes a remote. And you can also use from the computer, which I'll show you next. So go ahead and pause the video. You can jump back 30 seconds to the beginning of the video. Or just stop it all together. Brings me right back to the screen. Hulu Plus, another option if you've cut the cord. $7.99 a month, just like Netflix. Pick your videos you want to watch. Choose the Chromecast. And same thing, you have queuing, play video. You can queue up a bunch of shows you want to watch. So if you're lazy and you just want to set the phone down and watch... Countless hours of TV, you can just put them all in the queue and watch all your shows together. Great for binge watching. If you got a rainy day, you just want to sit and watch TV all day, load it up in the queue, it'll play. You do get commercials, and that's what each of these dots at the bottom represent, is where the commercials will play in Hulu+. Plus. Um, they are a subscription-based service, plus they have ads. It's the only way they can work the deal out with the TV companies. Last option is Play from Google. And connect to this device. There's actually a few more. Uh, I think HBO Go supports this now. I know Pandora does. Um, there's a lot more companies coming out with or bypassing the cable companies, essentially. But with Play, you can take any movies that you might have in your queue. 
or that you've bought through the Google Play Store and play them right on your TV. They have a lot of new releases. They have some season passes, so you can, uh, if you have a favorite series that's not available on Hulu, not available on Netflix, you can go to the series and purchase an entire uh, season at a time or all the seasons right through the Google Play Store and then play them on your phone whenever you want. And once again, like all of them, it does that. Go back home. It's up here. Jump back to it. Fast forward if you want to jump to a certain spot. Really fast, really simple. A lot of, to choose from in here. You want to watch the new Wolf of Wall Street movie? Three ninety nine is yours. Other option on here is music. So if you have a lot of music you want to play, you can use the Google Play Music Store. I have a lot of app music I've purchased in here. Same thing, go to Chromecast, choose the living room, hit play on a song, jumps up right away and starts playing. Change songs much in the same way. You can play with your playlists, your cues, and use your TV as a complete media center. Um, this is nice because anywhere you have Wi-Fi, it works. So you can wander around the house, set it down. Sometimes they use this for background music. It's really nice. That's a simple review of how the Chromecast works. It's really that easy. Your TV... Uh, at, is connected to the Chromecast, your phone acts as the remote, any tablet or desktop. I'm going to go to the desktop next. Now here's the Chromecast running on my laptop. Right now I've got nothing on the screen. And if you want to connect to it, you just click here, choose the device. And this shows up automatically when you're on a computer with the Chrome browser with a Chromecast plugin loaded. Uh, you can play your videos directly onto the TV from here. This works in tandem with the phone, uh, so you can see the queue, add things back and forth, remove them from the queue. Uh, the Chromecast icon is highlighted here at the top, and you can cancel it. It'll show you what's playing, or you can just hit stop casting. The other option on here is you can cast your screen. These are great for presentations. Uh, you can cast what's in a tab. I'm going to cast the tab itself. takes a second and once you do this it actually is casting what's showing here there's a slight delay depending on the speed of your computer but if you got to show something on the screen really easy if you're using the Google presentation software they have get a really neat tool so your presentations can be presented directly into the Chromecast present on another device choose the device And now your slideshows to Google will play directly through here. Really simple, really easy. Once again, great for presentations. Um, you can still watch your Netflix, your YouTube, and everything else right through the Chromecast like before. Uh, it's just not as convenient to me to use it on the computer. A lot of people think you have to have a computer to have Chromecast. You don't. You can jump right in, watch any video, and play it back right through here. Jump back to the videos, tries to play on the screen, switch back to living room, and away you go. And changing videos won't stop, so once it kicks off and plays, you can still switch videos back and forth. So if I wanted to see other videos, it's loading and playing over here. I can still search, find other videos, pick one, and it just overrides it again and it switches back. And if I didn't want it, I want to play it back on here. I just say this computer, and it kills the Chromecast and goes right back to here. Really simple to use. And that's a quick review of the Chromecast. Thank you.